Come on, don't stop praying. I need you to go. I, I need you to pray and listen to me. The ministry of worship is not just for, it's not for singers. I want to be specific. It's not for singers. Every follower of Jesus is a worshiper. Whether you sing, play instrument or not. The ultimate sacrifice that you can give in the place of worship is your whole self. And that was required of me and you in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 1. If you go through the book of Psalms, you will see songs written by Solomon. Some songs, songs written by David. There are songs written by Moses. There are songs written by Isaiah. But there is one man who came to talk to us about what worship is in the dimensions of the spirit. And when he came and met the Samaritan woman, he didn't sing any song to the woman. The songs you hear are aftermath of an experience that you have. But you cannot have an experience if you don't first of all have a tangible relationship with him. I am saying this that you will not just compose songs and then it will pass away. Any song that is better from an eternal source lasts forever. David sang songs. Moses had songs. Men had songs in the Bible. Anna. But there is one man who came. He said, Worship will never be, will neither be here nor there. He did not sit the woman down and begin to sing to her. Because he knew that song can come by virtue of talent. You see, worship is beyond your talent. In as much as you can use your talent to worship God. Mm. How then do them that are dumb worship God? and if this must be achieved you must come to a life of consecration you can, be, you can be a worshiper without singing you can be a minister without talking our brothers just, our brother just told us about Reverend Iman that, that just walked past the street he did not see anything but there is a dimension of God that talks without speaking it's called purity. Isaiah was already a prophet. Words will proceed from him and then they will come to pass. But on the day Isaiah saw the Lord, he said, Ah, I am a man of unclean lips. Do not forget that this man already holds a title of prophet. My brothers and sisters, there are deeper dimensions in God. No matter the dimension that you experience now, there are deeper dimensions in God. He was already a prophet. As a matter of fact, he came to the king and said, see, your time is up. But on the day he saw the Lord, can you lift up your voice wherever you are and say, Lord, help my heart to be pure before thee. The easiest way to see God is by a pure heart. Blessed are they whose heart are pure, for they will see the Lord. You can be a preacher of the gospel without talking. You can be a pastor without talking. If only you will press deeper into God, you will stumble into that dimension. I am a Kabbalah, Moshe, Lamakai. 
And when Jesus met the woman at the well, hmm, Jesus said to the woman, go and call your husband. The woman said, I don't have a husband. Jesus said, yes, what you are saying is true. As a matter of fact, you have been with four, sorry, five men. He said, the one you are with now is not, is not even your husband. Now, please, I want us to follow this journey. See, if you claim you are hungry, your hunger will be tested by time. Some of us, the thing we ask God for, but there are things that He can just He can just carry us. He can just carry and give us, and we will go. Can you ask God for that thing He does not have as a as a gift? There are things that God does not have as a gift. So when you ask Him, all He will tell you is, "Come, and I will make you." you claim that you are hungry time will tell you see some of us are hungry but the food we want to eat is different and jesus said you have been with five men even this but with now it's not your husband and the woman said ah are you a prophet and then the matter of worship began and jesus began to tell the woman that see if you know the one that is telling you asking you for water mm, you will tell you will ask him and he will give you this water that you will never test oh, and as the conversation continued now I want us to notice that in that scriptures the only thing that was recorded that Jesus spoke to the woman about was her marriage oh my god but after the whole conversation the woman went down to the city do you know what she told the city she said come and see a man who told me everything I have ever done now it means that there was something that happened that was not recorded because according to the record the only thing Jesus told her was about her marriage oh nekaku For me, that is the true dimension of a worshiper. And when the woman went, but I want you to understand that though the woman was down with the matter of marriage, there was a hunger that has been lang lang that has been inside the woman for long. And then the woman said, We were told about that a Messiah will come. We were told that a Messiah will come. She had carried that hunger for a very long time. Even though she had marriage issues, that marriage issue was not able to surpass that hunger. It, it, it couldn't surpass the hunger. So even when the hunger, even when the marriage issue was solved, there was a hunger of a Messiah that was lingering. She said, we were told that by our fathers that a Messiah will come. Do you know what Jesus said to her? The one that speaks to you For me i preach now notice that jesus had not died when he made that statement and jesus is only a messiah after he resurrected oh my god it means that when jesus said that thing there was something that happened to the woman for her to go back to the city for her to go back to the city and was able to bring a whole city a whole city uh -uh. There was more to just telling her that she has a husband. Can we lift up our voice one more time before I leave your face? Say, Lord, give me genuine hunger. Aye. A hunger that even the gift of raising the dead cannot surpass. A hunger, even, even if I get the ability to raise 30 dead people, there will be a longing. A hunger that even when I am able to gather 50 billion people unto God, there will be a longing. An eternal one. In a kableke shkababa mataya. Rashkepepete lekaba. 
Ika Braske Pelias.